So which kind of leads me into, you know, one of the other, you know, topics that, you know, I want to bring up, which is, you know, with the upcoming uh, SAP B1 Partner Summit that's coming up, I know there's one that uh, I think it's recently going on or just passed with regards to the one in Singapore. Um, there's the three of them that are going on with respect to what we have for Singapore, Phoenix, and Madrid. I know that both Cloud for Partners and New Intelligence are going to be at the one for uh, for Phoenix uh, coming up. I, it's in April. I think the exact date, if I'm not mistaken, is April the 10th is the first one. And then the that's for Phoenix. And then we're going to have, uh, with regards to Madrid, uh, I think it's two weeks later, which is, I think, starting on the 23rd, if I'm not mistaken, um, for three days over there. So <laughs> I'm really looking forward to those ones. Um, there's a lot of key um, sessions that are going to be on there that I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, given the fact that we are very focused on the analytics side of things and the reporting side. So some of the things that caught my eye in regards to um, some of the areas that I want to see is really around, you know, how is SAP addressing analytics? How are they addressing AI from a SAP Business One perspective? You know, so that's where I'm, you know, really interested to hear the direction. And, you know, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to looking in and watching at the the upcoming summit in, in Phoenix and Madrid? Well, that's always interesting. There's always nuggets of information that come out of these events, which are really powerful. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's always taking out the ones that are real meaningful and, and actually going to deliver value early and other ones that are for the next few years. So it's it's segmenting those, uh, you know, taking those apart. From a, a perspective of other things, it's, it's always great to meet up with partners that we already deal with and new partners that we don't deal with because that, it, that it's all partner driven. So, yes. you know, it's from a report point of view, you know, we talk often, you know, as an as two organizations, we now work really closely together. So we are we value that. And we originally met at one of these events. So that's yeah. the sort of thing you can get at as a partner is to actually meet each other and actually realize there's some synergy here. We aren't stepping on each other's feet. We can actually work together for the better of our customers. And that's really where I, I think I get the buzz from these events. Now, Absolutely. Historic, Absolutely. Historic, I, I ran the sales department of, of Ascari, the other company associated with um, Cloud for Partners, where we were, well, still are, an SAP Gold Partner in our own right in the UK. Um, so I always went there from a point of view, well, what is new? not only from SAP, but from all the partners that are presenting in the exhibition there, and what's going to make the biggest difference to the customers that we deal with. Now I've changed role at the end of uh, last year um, into the Cloud for Partners side of the business. Now I'm really interested to find out what partners are actually thinking and what's making them tick. Um, you know, So from our perspective, uh, I've met with AWS a couple of times this year already. They're Two main focuses this year are AI, which is why we started off with AI earlier, uh, and also SAP. They want to really hit the SAP market hard. And through Cloud for Partners, they already recognize us as we are the leading the light for them and their recommended partner to go ahead with cloud hosting for SAP Business One. So we want to do that through the partner network. Mm -hmm.